Long does that take you down memory lane, Pete? Certainly does. Seems like <laughs> yesterday. I mean, can't believe it's 30 years. You know, I remember was, this for us, this was extra bonus. You know, you just sold half a you know, quarter of a million records and then suddenly this compilation idea came along and added, uh, when your record had stopped selling, uh, they, added, they added to it. It was a great idea. What was the appeal, do you think? Which, or what is the appeal? Because it's still going. Um, I, th I think it's, I mean, for people like me, who don't buy records unless they're at least 30 years old, <laughs> um, it, you, it's an, it enables you to get a whole load of tracks on, in one particular place. Tracks that have already received approval, actually. So you're not really, you know, it's, a, it's a kind of safe buy. You know, you know that the tracks are, are popular already. And so it's, a, it's, a, it's much less risky than buying a whole album where you might just end up with one track. You know they're all good tracks. And Fred, does it kind of bring back memories when you know, we're watching, all young? Yes. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the matter with you? Oh, no, harsh. That mean, was harsh, no, wasn't it? Mean, it, was like, it was innocent, wasn't it? You had to fast forward no, right. through the yes, songs you didn't true. like and yes. get the ones you did. It was, yes. it was a different era then, wasn't it? Was. it? I mean, I'm pleased to see the death of the cassette, though, because they were <laughs> rubbish. And they, you know, dreadful. But the thing is, we all forget. When these came out, I mean, you, you've got a cassette here, there. But, this is worth a lot of money, but here, mm. have a right, go. But, I, mean, most of, I mean, more than anything of this was sold on vinyl. And, of course, yeah. the problem with vinyl was you had to drop the quality to get these tracks on get that because you only could get 24 minutes per side. So, you know, when you heard these on vinyl, they were really, you know, pushing down the sound to get them on. So they, they were, this was never about quality. It was always about getting them all in one place at one and, time. And 85 million albums sold in the UK. It's extraordinary. Did you ever think it would be that successful? Because I know you were putting your artists on there from the very beginning, Well, you? I just noticed I've got a track on this. Oh, well, there you go. You're, you're still <laughs> so there you go, you You're see. still making um, money, Pete. Yeah, absolutely. Good to know. What's interesting <laughs> is we now, if you look at the downloads and the iTunes chart, it's based very much on this principle mm -hmm. where you buy the tracks you really want. What this does, I think, Fred said, this gives it you in... Um, a form where you don't even have to think about it. No. Arguably now, we've got so much choice yeah. that you never make a decision. No, yeah, where this true. makes yeah. a decision for you. Yeah. It says, yeah. here are 30 tracks and you go, I'll have it. Yeah. Now, we let's remind ourselves of one of your hits, because I know your really famous one actually didn't appear, did it, on a, on a now compilation? But Probably not. Sexy. No, it didn't, did, did it? Not? Did it not? But this one did. Let's, let's oh, have a quick okay. reminder. What was this one? Deep oh my bad with Spanish eyes. Sierra smile, <laughs> legs that go on for miles and miles. Oh, we don't look any different. We were well, all just saying. But so, what was what what's the benefits of, as an artist of being on a on an album compilation? Uh, I mean, I you awareness. still get royalties now, I suppose. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I mean, I think the good thing is if someone buys it for a, uh, an artist other than you. They will hear a track that they may not hear otherwise. Possibly, uh, it's awareness. It's revenue. Um, it's a bit, bit of everything, actually. And comp some compilations just historically sell really well. Clubs, bars, restaurants buy them because they just put it on, it yeah. rotates. And kudos, you know. Richard, or not? Yeah, it's, it's a sort of approval, I think. And um, also, you know that if you're on the album, you know that it's, it's sort of like a hit already. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, it's, it's uh, like, like Peter was saying, it's, it's the end of, in a way, it's the end of the process. So, it, yeah, see, it's wasn't nice, always you know. so popular, you know. I mean, there, are, there was a period when uh, compilations were very. You know, the artists didn't want to be on them. Mm. And certainly the independent companies, because these were EMI Virgin compilations, yeah. and then later there was uh, Universal and um, uh, BMG had their own version. Um, as an independent, this was a, a very difficult market. But you really capitalised them, didn't you? I know oh, you, we you, did, you yeah. had some amazing artists like Kylie, yeah. and she appeared on it more than, in more than 20 albums, I think. Let's have a quick listen, shall we? Let's have a quick reminder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love, love them. The credit to you, that was a very powerful period, wasn't it? Really oh, shaped, oh, listen, let me really tell you, at this period, music, we, used to, we used to barter. We used to barter. They used to come on and want the latest, latest Jason or Kylie single. And we would say, you can't have that unless you do this. Oh. So we would have a record that, say, had peaked at 17. And we had underperformed for us. 
we would make them use it uh, to give us the extra revenue we've missed or we wouldn't give them the Kylie record, the Jason record. Now, gentlemen, you're all music experts. I've got a couple of little <laughs> oh, questions yeah. for you now. <laughs> see, let's see how good you really are. Yeah. Now, what, which band do you think has had the highest number of consecutive appearances on different now albums? Right, I said Fred, obviously. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from Stop them. laughing. Um, <laughs> what I do you think? think? Westlife. Yeah, I was going to yes. say Westlife. No. Oh, really? No. Aren't they Any other guests? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, band. band. Girls Aloud. Oh, girls oh, are yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Surprising? Yeah, that's yeah. surprising. Yeah. Okay, here's another one for you. Who has appeared on more Now albums than anyone else? Right, I said Fred. No, I've said it um, <laughs> Pete, you should Kylie? I was thinking. Well, no, I'm going to say Robbie Williams. Not. You're right. Oh. Robbie Williams is doing very well this week, isn't he? I think he got the 1,000th album, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, no, well, 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 he's been around a long time, you see. But this is really interesting, this last question. And I'm not sure if I get it right or not. You might, Pete. Which very famous American star who's been around for three decades has never appeared on a Now album until this year? Bon Jovi. Nope. Springsteen. Nope. Oh. One more, Richard. Um, rock, give us a hint. Yeah, rock not or pop? rock, pop. Pop. Queen of pop. Oh, Madonna. Oh, Madonna. Madonna. Yeah. Ah, how did that so, happen? Uh, really? Uh, really? Because she was on Warners, ah. and Warners were not part of this. You ah. see, I was going to say there Warners. Must be, there must be Warners a, did not endorse girl. this product. Yeah, as so I said originally, this was an EMI oh, uh, virgin. A six year trade. So yeah, how long yeah. is this going to go on for? How long will now be with us? Do you think, guys? Oh, I think we're seeing. I mean, you can now see now that there's all sorts of brands now. It's a great brand. I mean, you know, this is a fantastic brand now, mm. and you've got, you know. Now, now Disney, yeah, yeah, now yeah. Disney princesses. I mean, yeah. where should be doing their own festivals? Okay. They do yeah. that already. And we have to go there. That's I'll, it for now, as my producer yeah. has just said. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's one we could do as well. Gentlemen, thank you thank so you much, much for joining me tonight.